it's Shereen from MyPainCenter.com, your number one headquarters for CBD and Delta products. Hey, we've been getting a lot of frequently asked questions, so I thought it would be best to make a video to share with you what is CBD, what is Delta 10 versus Delta 8 versus Delta 9. Now, if you're wondering why I went 10, 8, 9 and I didn't go in numerological order, you should stick around because this video is going to answer that question for you. Okay, so one of the most popular questions that we get all the time is what is the difference between CBD and your Delta products? The biggest difference is that our CBD gummies do not have THC in them and our Delta products have THC in them. The longer answer is that they all come from a hemp plant, they're all federally legal, but your CBD products are going to be your entryway into finding relief. And then your THC products, your Delta products, or if you need a little bit something more, you need something stronger. And like I said, it's got that THC in it. So you're gonna feel that euphoric high if you take too much, you're going to fail a drug test if you get drug tested at work. So those are your biggest difference between your CBDs and your Delta products. Another question we get in the Delta family is what is the difference between a Delta 10, a Delta 8, and a Delta 9? Delta 10 is like your gateway into the THC product. It's the weakest one of the 8, 10s, 8s, and 9s. So if you want to start using THC and you've never used THC before and you're a little nervous, which I totally understand, go with the Delta 10s. The Delta 8s are then a step up of the Delta 10s, and then the Delta 9 is going to be your strongest Delta product. So where should I start? I, somebody told me that I should get a gummy bear and I don't know what to do. Shireen, help me. I will totally help you. If you don't know where to start and you have never tried a CBD or THC product in your life, highly, highly suggest just starting with the CBD. Start with the CBD and see if you like it. See if it's helping you. It could be the answer to your, to your struggles and to your pain and your inflammation and your anxiety and everything else. And guess what? It's the cheapest one out of the products. So this is where you should start. Actually, and I'll tell you this, when we started MyPainCenter.com, this is all we sold were CBD gummies. These other products weren't being mass marketed yet. Like when I was struggling with fibromyalgia, not was, is, um, fibromyalgia and sciatica and anxiety, and when I decided to start MyPainCenter.com, it was solely because I wanted to find a way to solve that pain, and CBD was the answer. CBD works in the background, so it's really important to take this every day. So say you're taking it for a couple days, say, say you take it on day one and you don't feel anything. That doesn't mean it's not working. You've got to keep using it. It's like vitamins. You don't feel the, I have a vitamin D deficiency, so I can't just take a vitamin D when I feel deficient. I gotta keep taking vitamin D, or then my doctor actually puts me on prescription vitamin D and increases my dosage because I'm like so deficient, right? That's kind of like CBD. You've gotta keep taking it for it to build up in your body, to help it break down the inflammation, to help you get the better sleep, to help with your pain levels, okay? I always suggest that you start with the 10 milligram CBD gummy, Find the right dosage so you can take up to five gummies a day. Um, day one, take one. If you don't feel anything, day two, take two, and then keep building up to five. And then you can come back to the store and find the right strength and flavor that you like. So for example, say you're taking three a day. So we actually offer CBD gummies that are in uh, a 10 milligram, 20 milligram, 25 milligram, 35 milligram, and 45 milligram. 45 milligram, which is this one, is our strongest gummy rare, right? So. Now, you've started with the CBD, you're at the 45 milligram gummy, you're feeling great. But there's just a little something that's still bothering you. Maybe at night you're not sleeping through the entire night, or your hip pain starts bothering you in the middle of the night, or you're not making it through your day. Then you can start experimenting with the Delta products. Now, highly, highly suggest if you're gonna experiment with the Delta products, you always start with the experimentation at night, because again, you can feel high from these products. I also highly, highly suggest that when you get the gummy bears, they're in squares, you cut them into four pieces and you start with a quarter. And then every day you can increase it as needed. This will help you find the right dosage, but also not get high if you don't wanna get high. Because if you get really high and you've never experienced being high before, you're going to hate yourself, you're going to hate the money that you spent on the product, and you're gonna hate me. And I don't want you to hate me, okay? Because my job here is to help you live your best life. Another question we get is, I've been using the CBD, but I need something stronger, now what? Well, that's where these Delta products come in. Like I said, the Delta products are stronger, they have THC in them. If you've never experimented with THC before, highly suggest you start with the Delta 10. Now, the Delta 10s are amazing because they're actually supposed to be really good for energy, creativity, productivity. Um, the Sativa is really good for daytime. We also have one for nighttime and Indica, so you can pick and play with which one you like. Um, they taste really good too. The other really good thing about a Delta 10 is like it's less potent than the other Delta products. So again, if you're just experimenting, this is a great place to start. 
Again, I would still say start with a quarter of a gummy. Now your Delta 8 products are really good for relaxation, for calmness. They really just calm your endocrine system, right? So if you're going to use this in the daytime, start really, really small because if you take too much, you're going to feel sleepy or tired, okay? So we do have a sativa and indica in the Delta 8s as well. And then if you're using the Delta 8s and you're feeling great, or maybe you're not feeling that great, but you're feeling good, you can, and you just need a little bit more, you can go to the Delta 9. So the Delta 9 is gonna be your strongest product. And I usually suggest you don't, if you've never played with THC before, do not start with the Delta 9s. Start with an eight or a 10. So which gummy is best for sleep? Short answer, all of them. You can use any of these for sleep. Again, I suggest starting with the CBD. If the CBD is not helping, you can go into a Delta 10 or a Delta 8 Indica. And then again, if the Delta 8 Indica is not helping and you just need a little bit more, go into the Delta 9. Which gummy bear is best for pain? Honestly, it depends on your pain levels. It depends where the pain is stemming from. It depends on how long you've had the pain, the inflammation, what's triggering the pain. Is it neuropathic pain? But if your pain is like to the point, your pain is usually handled by Tylenol or Advil or any over-the-counter medication, you can start with a CBD. If you're on prescription medication for pain, one, talk to your doctor, but two, you can start with a THC product. Um, you can try our Delta 10, Delta 8, or Delta 9. I would say if you're struggling with pain, first start with the Delta 10s or the Delta 8s. We have had a lot of customers who use both these products for fibromyalgia, rheumatoid arthritis, migraines, sciatica, neuropathic pain. But we also have those a lot of customers having those same ailments using the CBD. Again, so it's just going to be a trial and error game for you to try. Again, the CBD is going to be a cheaper option. Which product is good for anxiety? Again, so many questions to ask about what type of anxiety, how long do your, does your anxiety last, is it panic attack, what triggers it? But again, I would just say start with the CBD. If you need something stronger, you can move into a Delta 10 and then the Delta 8. I try not to suggest Delta 9 for anxiety because too much THC sometimes can trigger anxiety in people. So I would start with the CBD and then move your way up and then once you get to a Delta 8 and you're still struggling with anxiety, you can test a Delta 9 in small doses. Which gummy bear is good for daytime use and energy? Again, it depends on why you need energy during the day. Is it because you're not getting a good enough sleep? Is it because you're waking up groggy from prescription pills? Is it because you're anxious? What's going on, right? So like you have to find what is that pain point. So short answer, I would say start with the CBD um, because maybe you just need a really good night's sleep or you need to reduce your anxiety and then kind of work your way back through the Delta 10 products, the Delta 10 and the Delta 8 products to see. Again, if you're using a Delta 10 sativa or a Delta 8 sativa for daytime use, start in really small quantities, especially with the Delta 8 since that's actually supposed to relax you so it could make you sleepy. Which product is good for nighttime use? Again, short answer is if is start with the CBD. But if it's like you're you're not sleeping well through the night, you have insomnia, you have anxiety, you have pain levels, you have chronic pain, again, it depends on just how long have you been struggling with your sleep? How long have you been struggling with these pain levels? Where is the pain coming from? Like for me, when I lay on my back, that triggers all the pain in my body, right? Because like my sciatica is coming from my glute muscles. I've got bone spurs in my back. I've got slip discs. Like laying on my back triggers me, right? So I know I need something strong. So it just depends on how strong you need it. Again, it's going to be a trial and error. You're going to start with the CBD. You can try a Delta 10 Indica. You can try a Delta 8 Indica or then a Delta 9. That's really how I, I work through all these products. So pick up a product, try it out, see how it works. Again, if you try one of these products and you're not getting the relief you need, let us know. Contact us. You can drop a comment below. You can hit us up on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. You can send me an email at support at mypaincenter.com and I will respond to you to help you find the right product because remember, we're all built differently. So what I'm telling you is just my opinion and my experience, okay? This, my, what works for me may not work for you. What works for your partner may not work for you. You're just going to have to keep trying things. And I know it's frustrating. I know it can get expensive. I understand that, but you can always reach out to us. So don't please, please, please don't try something and get frustrated and get angry. Send us an email and we will try to help you find the right product for you. Okay. Again, you can hit us up at mypaincenter.com. Um, support at mypaincenter.com or hit us down below with a comment. Find us on social. Again, I know I just talked about gummy bears, but just so you're aware, um, for the Delta 10s, we also have a disposable vape. 
For the Delta 8, we have a disposable vape as well as vape carts and shisha, and we have a flavored drink mix as well. And then for Delta 9, we just have the gummy bears. And there's a whole video on why we only just have gummy bears. So again, my name is Shereen Kassam. I am with MyPainsTar.com. And if you need anything, let me know.